Hey guys, welcome to Sockless Tech Spot. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at this third generation iPad that's been getting this weird uh, NAND uh, flash NAND whatever error. Uh, let me zoom in for you guys so you can take a look. It's hardware related to something inside of the iPad. It could be the sensors, the, the proximity sensor, the gyroscope, the camera. Um, so it could be a number of things. What we're going to do is open it up and uh, see if we could troubleshoot it and figure out what's causing this error and hopefully get rid of it and turn the iPad back on. So what I will be doing is basically just uh, heating up the perimeter of the iPad where you see the black bezel. But how you do this is you get a heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, an uh, blow dryer will do just fine. It does take a little longer with this though. And you just want to uh, put on the hottest setting and slowly just go around the perimeter uh, heating it up as you go. And you want to go little by little getting all the way around. And um, the best thing that works is uh, guitar picks. But if you don't have guitar picks, you could try getting a very thin like rewards card or credit card or something and using that. And let me just uh, put the disclaimer out there. I'm not responsible for any damage you cause to your device. This is, um, I've done this before. I've opened this particular iPad up before. So I do know what I'm doing. Um, I'm just gonna do what I did last time. You have a very big chance of destroying something because uh, this glass is very thin. The digitizer can break very easily, which is the actual glass here. And also, there's a ribbon cable on the bottom left here of the iPad. You want to be very careful when you get here. And also, at the home button, you want to be careful because there's a little, um, there's something holding it on to the digitizer here. So you want to make sure you don't break that assembly. There's also a camera assembly up here, which you want to be careful around. So you don't want to just jam plastic under the bezel. I got this uh, digitizer off. And you just want to be very careful because of the ribbon cable holding it on the bottom left side here. Just go ahead and flip it open like so. Oh, so that's a very tight fit for the ribbon cable. Now I have this tool here that I got from uh, iFixit.com, not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. I just really like their um, third party uh, products. Let me remove this tape so I could see where the connection is for this. Oh, there we go. Okay. So yeah, that looks like it was, in fact, just a power cable. So let's go ahead and weasel this back in. Okay. Got that in fairly easily. Oh, there's a, another piece of glass just poking out from everywhere. So we're just going to go ahead and fold these uh, clips back down. That looks good. So now let's uh, look at this camera module really quickly. But right here. I removed this tape and underneath the tape you can see the connector for the camera module so what we're gonna do is just go ahead and disconnect that more tape holding it uh, we're just gonna leave it like that for the time being so now plug in the LCD ribbon cable and this is just a temporary test so let's go ahead and oh we got the Apple logo and let's see if it actually decides to boot up here. And uh, if this does work, I'm going to have to replace the tape on the digitizer. They do sell the tape uh, separately, so um, if you are just troubleshooting like I am, I'm going to just do this later. I might just order the tape because if this doesn't work, there's really no point to order the tape. I'm just going to sell it as is for parts to whoever, whoever wants it. It looks very promising here. Oh, now it's boot looping again. Um, although I didn't get an error, which is interesting. Yeah, the camera is disconnected. Okay, we got a little fade out here. Oh, oh, would you, would you look at that? It, it turned on. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm scrolling with the digitizer here because it is uh, on the side. So as you can see, it is back. So it is the camera module that is uh, screwing with it. Highly interesting, very interesting, very interesting indeed. Now I don't have a camera on the iPad except for the back camera. Now let's take a closer look here. Okay, so over here we have the camera module. And this is the wire for it right here. Now like, there is another connector that comes in 
and connects right here. I have no idea what this is. I, I cannot tell you what that is because um, it looks like there's a hole here for a reason. But, uh, you know what? That hole looks like it just uses to align this uh, camera assembly on the digitizer. So I don't think that's anything. But that is interesting why this would stop it from working. I don't even know if I could remove this. But uh, do note that I did leave this side plugged in. Uh, I'm not sure what this is, but this is what was messing with it, disconnecting this right here. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'm actually going to put black tape on this just so it doesn't cause any uh, unwanted connections. And if you, I guess if you do want your camera module, you do have to replace this assembly. It's strange that this cable is what is damaged and caused it to not turn on. You know what, let's zoom in a little further. I just made a little discovery. I could only zoom so close before it starts uh, getting really out of focus. But right here, uh, I made a discovery where it looks like something might have overheated and caused this connection to uh, burn out because this is, it looks burned. I'm not too sure how you'd go about replacing that. I don't think it's the camera module itself, but this board it's on because that does look very burned. Uh, it could be a defect, but I highly doubt it. That looks burnt. Anyway, so if you are having that NAND flash error pop up, go ahead and just disconnect this right here. This is all you want to disconnect, and it turns back on. Uh, I do recommend, <clears throat> if you are going to do this, to be very cautious. Uh, buying tools like this uh, does help. Um, I was able to find old, um, I guess, a screen protector like cards to put on, and uh, I use this to take it off. It's very thin and flexible, so that did help. Be very careful not to break your digitizer. And um, yeah, there we have it. I hope you found this helpful and I hope this solved your error. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, this is not an easy task, so please make sure you are up for it. You might want to set aside an hour, two hours to make sure you do it with uh, precision and uh, patience. So yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.